Okay. <coughs> Hello, so I will just do a few talk about uh, care, about reboot, care understanding and contribute. It's a return of experience of what I did uh, uh, on U-Boot uh, two or three months ago and what I try to, to continue to do uh, with it. So a few words about me. I'm a Linux user uh, since about 20 years now. Uh, I was a system administrator at PSA, the Jossi train between the 2002 and uh, last year, mainly focused on the HPC virtualization and high availability. I'm now working uh, for SUSE as a senior crew engineer for SAP and the HA product, mainly. And I'm also a small contributor to, to OpenSUSE. Uh, I try to do more, but it's not so easy. And I'm also an ARM enthusiast uh, since many years. I work a lot. Uh, I have fun with the uh, embedded board and uh, things like this uh, about 10 years ago. So. And uh, why I want to, to contribute? I use Ubud since uh, some years now, uh, as I said, since 10, 10 years, uh, mainly on the set-top box and things like this. Uh, my, my first idea was to un understand how it works, what can I do with Ubud, and uh, try to, to understand how it boots a Linux kernel and uh, an operating system. I have also a couple of, of uh, set-top box and uh, small board like this one uh, at home that are not uh, yet supported uh, by um, mainline boot. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, cheap uh, socks maker use their own implementation of U-Boot, but only a few use mainline U-Boot and uh, a lot of interesting things and new things and a lot of bugs are corrected in the mainline new boot, so uh, I want and I prefer to use the mainline version instead of vendor version. And uh, also, I finally, I want, I would like to, to be more involved in the community. In uh, I try to to, to uh, contribute, contribute like, like Ricardo said. It's not so easy. It takes time. But uh, now that I'm working for Suzy, it's a little bit easier for me to do this kind of work. And so I would like to, to, to continue to, to do more. And so for you boot, what is needed to, uh, from my point of view to begin to contribute? Uh, so of course, a little bit, a little bit of English knowledge is needed to read the documentation, to write some email, to ask some question on RSE. Uh, some programming knowledge and tool, uh, basic tool knowledge are, are also needed. Uh, if you understand the C languages, it can be very helpful, of course, to, to understand the U-boot code. Uh, some ensemblers, sometimes, it was not my case uh, for, for what I did. Uh, Git also, you need to use Git. You need to use, uh, sometimes, RSC. It can be useful to ask questions and a lot of things like this. S in the world of uh, embedded, uh, some electronic basics can help sometimes. Uh, when you, you have uh, an issue uh, with m uh, memories, initialization, or things like this, uh, such initialization, it can be sometimes useful to, to read the diagram uh, to understand how it works. Uh, at least you need also to have some ARM or MIPS board or emulator. I s emu you can do things with emulator, but it's much fun with uh, a real uh, board. And the most important things for me is motivation and time. As Ricardo said, time is difficult to have because it's, it takes a lot of time to contribute. And it's, uh, it's very, uh, very interesting to do this, but you need to spend a lot of time for this. If it's not your daily job, it's sometimes complicated. So my first contribution on new boot was not a, a big thing. Uh, I have at home a CADAS Vim board, and uh, I saw that the Le Potato board was uh, based on the same socks. 
and uh, I saw that uh, Neil Armstrong from Belibre uh, pushed some uh, some patch for this for this uh, uh, board. Uh, I think it was in uh, last year, about uh, in November, I think. And uh, I try the, the, this patch uh, for the CADAS Vim, and it was working uh, as, as expected without any modification, just the device tree to, do, to use the correct device tree and things like this. And so I uh, send all my change uh, to Neil, uh, and he, he push, uh, he push the, this, uh, the code on the uh, uh, on the GitHub uh, repo, uh, so it was only a copy paste of, uh, of the Le Potato board uh, files, uh, nothing more, and just in some test. Uh, at this time, I, rem I, know, I, I know that I should have had a tested by on the pull request, that could be interesting for uh, validation, quick validation. It was not a big issue because Neil was already a known person on U-Boot, but it can help if you, if you do this kind of uh, uh, tested by or act by uh, uh, on a pull request. And um, my first really push with a uh, contribution with my name was also a backport of an patch uh, to enable ADC support for the CADAS Vim. I was able to copy past uh, the, the, the patch and test it. And so I uh, simply uh, uh, rename the file and push it on, uh, uh, on the Git, uh, um, U-boot Git repo. And uh, after the next thing for me was to try to add support of the CAD, for the CADAS Vim 2 board. And so this is this little board. It's based on the uh, S1912 uh, uh, socks. It's uh, pretty much the same as the board used on the CADAS Vim and the Le Patato board uh, for, for the socks part. Uh, just eight cords instead of uh, four uh, in two different clusters. So I try to use the CADAS Vim Le Patato uh, files on, and to create new files for the CADAS Vim too. My first test was surprising, not too bad, because I was able to start reboot, but it was uh, failing uh, after or during the DRAM initialization. I only had this uh, DRAM 3 gigabyte information on the screen and nothing else. I asked on the Linux I'm logging about this, and uh, Nils uh, answered me that uh, he had uh, gave in two patches uh, and uh, he sent me his patch uh, to, to test. He said that uh, the <coughs> uh, he tested the patch uh, on the CADAS Vim 2 uh, board but with chain, chain loading from a vendor you boot and it was uh, booting without any issue. So I test the uh, Nils patch but they failed at the same stage as me. So it was a good news for me because my patch was not too bad and I had to, to find why uh, the, the board was not able to, to boot. And so with the last messages, I think it was in the RAM um, initialization mainly. And so the first thing was to try to, to find uh, how to debug it. And I began to read the code and to try to find uh, where and how the memory uh, was initialized. And I also wanted to compile U boot in debug mode, but it was not so easy first time because there, I was not able to find a lot of documentation about this. So I simply had a defined debug in the .h file of the CADAS Vim2 board. It was working. And after some tests, I found the config log option, and it was better and easier to, to use. Uh, so for if some people are interested, uh, just configure the config log uh, option to, uh, to be able to activate them uh, 
during initialization. Uh, I just see a, a small issue. I configure uh, config log level to seven in the uh, dev config file, but it always uh, by default set to six. And I don't know why. I need to, to investigate after if it's a mistake from my side or maybe uh, something that is not working well in, in the code. Maybe for a future contribution. <laughs> and after some hours of test, two or three hours, I, I think for a lot of people in this room, it should have been, uh, it should have taken only uh, 10 minutes to find, but for me it was more. I was able to find the data used to initialize the memory. It's a GX mem map structure in the Mason board.c uh, file. And you can see easily when you find the structure that the size of memory, virt memory and physical memory is set to a uh, two gigabyte value. If you convert this value in the hexadecimal from decimal, it's two gigabyte. So, it should be for some CADAS VIN2 board at least uh, three gigabyte. For some other, it's three gigabyte. Uh, so my idea was to increase the value to, at, to, to three gigabyte, maybe more. I don't know if uh, I don't have the time to check if uh, the Amlogic SOX uh, is able to, to use more than three gigabyte or not. So I'll simply do a small patch uh, to increase the, the memory value. Uh, and after uh, some tests on uh, the CADAS VIM, the CADAS VIM 2 and uh, the low potato board, I was able to boot with this uh, modification the, all, the three board without any issue. So I was very happy with this. Much. Oh, I'm not able to, to show the link, it's not a big issue. Uh, so, but now, uh, none of the, the patch done for the CADAS VIM2, mine and also the patch from Nils, are at, at this time upstream. I discussed with Neil last week. Uh, to see how we can do this. Uh, so I think that I will uh, push the change in the two or three weeks. Uh, some change are needed to just rebase on the last uh, U-boot version. And I will uh, push the, the, the needs patch and mine uh, after. I, I need to check if these small change are enough or if more uh, tests need to be done. It's, it's not so, so easy from my point of view. I'm a newbie in U-boot, in U-boot coding. So I, I, I need to, to ask and to, to, to see, to check if this change is a good change. If uh, no other uh, Amlogic board can be broken with this or not. I don't have a lot of uh, uh, Amlogic board at home, so it's can be sometimes complicated to, to test on all. Uh, but the, this will be, uh, I think, very soon upstreamed on your boot. So what's next, as I said, is to push the patch on mainline your boot. Uh, I also need to investigate uh, an issue with USB for uh, an unknown reason at this time. When you try to start USB on CADAS VIM2, you, you are not able to, 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 to initialize it. There is an issue uh, with uh, the USB controller. It's a little bit strange because it should be the same as uh, the potato board or CADAS VIM board, but it seems not. It seems to be uh, uh, missing something that is missing in the device tree. So uh, my f next uh, work uh, for this, if nobody uh, corrects this uh, before, will be to investigate why USB is not working and try to find uh, uh, what is uh, missing. And also I do some tests uh, last week uh, for this USB stuff. 
and I try the last uh, device tree files uh, from uh, the Linux kernel, uh, the last uh, latest Linux kernel. Uh, but uh, some clock uh, configuration uh, has, uh, have changed in the code, and so we are not able now to use the last device tree uh, file from Linux kernel in U-boot. You need to modify some code in U-boot also. It seemed a little bit more complicated than my uh, small patch, so uh, I will keep this for uh, later. If again, if nobody uh, changes before me, but I will try to to investigate and to to learn a little bit more with this. And so, to conclude, is it so compli complicated? Sorry to contribute. Surprisingly, not so. Uh, I was a little bit surprised that I was able to to correct this uh, memory rough again. I'm not a developer. I don't uh, work on U-boot every day, so it took about two two days for me to test an investigation to to find this and uh, be able to 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 correct at least to work around this, and I hope to correct this. And uh, I do some submission, and even small patch are accepted for readme files or things like this. Uh, it's the, the good thing is that even if you are uh, a small contributor, uh, all contributions are accepted. It's uh, uh, it's very interesting to see to see this. You don't have to be a, a huge contributor, uh, someone that uh, are well known in the community to, to contribute. Uh, it's a good thing with the open source uh, in general. Uh, discussion may be needed on your patch, but always with improvement and respect in mind. There is uh, no, no, nobody trying to tell, tell you uh, that your code is uh, very crap or things like this. If you are uh, open mind, generally you can have uh, respect uh, in, the, in your contribution. So everyone can contribute. I think you just don't want to. Uh, you just have sorry to want it and have time to to do this. As Ricardo said again, it's the the, the main issue for me. It's the time to contribute. If you if, if you are working on uh, upstream code uh, all days, it's uh, easier. It's your job. But if you do this uh, during your uh, free time, it's more complicated. You need to, to do this uh, with your family life and uh, can, can take some time. But uh, y even if you only do a small modification, readme modification, add a documentation, uh, write a wiki page for something, it's very important and very useful for somebody else. Uh, regarding the debug uh, things in U-Boot, um, I checked with, and I saw no uh, no documentation, no good documentation about this. So maybe uh, add a readme for this or do a modification in U-Boot can be useful for other people like me who, who try to simply debug a small thing. And also, uh, oh, sorry, I also try to contribute to other open source uh, projects. Uh, as I said, on OpenSUSE, uh, there is always something to do, a uh, lot of stuff, uh, like in Fedora or Ubuntu or other operating system. I personally try to improve Wikibage for some ARM board. I've uh, wrote the documentation for the CADAS Vim, the potatoes. I will have to try to write the documentation on how to install OpenSUSE uh, for uh, the CADAS Vim 2 and other board also. Uh, but again, Time is needed to do this, and uh, it takes yeah, it takes time to, to do all the, these things, and uh, mainly on open source. So, if you have any question. Well, about the debugging. Uh, this? Or? Uh, yeah, the one before that. Oh, 
Yeah, about the debugging, if you have some sort of hang during the startup of U-Boot, you can look into lib slash init call that dot C and put a debug there just before include uh, common dot H and this will enable debugging in that init system of U-Boot. And based on that, you can figure out which exact init call in U-Boot got stuck during the startup of U-Boot. Okay. Uh, I think I have another thing to add to uh, two slides forward. Uh, where you have the memory map. Yeah, this one. Um, so I believe one of them is RAM, right? That's the, the, the top one. Right, that's RAM. So that should be C something something probably. You have to check your uh, documentation. But the, the, the bottom one I believe should be Yeah, but the bottom one um, should have size of uh, four something something something. Yeah, I, I, as I said, I think it's not a perfect. Uh, and uh, oh yeah, yeah. From, from the beginning it was zero for the physical yeah, also. Yeah, it, it basically says that the first two gigabytes are RAM and the next two gigabytes after that are yeah. device memory. So you need to check the data sheet for the SOC and see how long yeah. really the, the memory controller window is. I just yeah. put it in there and send the patch. Yeah, th this is why uh, this patch need to be reviewed and uh, discussed and tested a little bit. Yeah, more. you just got the review. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> can you send an email for this, please? <laughs> yeah, you can put me on CC. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, so um, there is also something about uh, talking to the developers. There is a U-Boot uh, IRC channel on Freenode. Yeah, also, yeah. So, I mean, you can just hang around and the people are there. So, yeah. it's, it's easy to, on it also, to yeah. do that. Yeah. But as this was some more uh, Amlogic specific, I first discussed on the Linux Amlogic and I had the, the, the answer. So, I was I don't have to, to ask a question from the new boot for, for this time, but maybe for other contribution, yes. Yeah, but then just send the patch. I mean, yeah. there is no reason to wait with it. Yeah, the main reason was to discuss with Neil to have the whole patch at the same time yeah. and check who uh, push the patch and, uh, and the time to do this, again the time. <laughs> yeah. But I will do this. Uh, uh, next month. Okay, yeah, sure. Thanks. Other question? No? Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have another one. Uh. <laughs> yes? Yeah, about the, about the USB. So, uh, do you know the error message that it's giving you? Uh, because I kind of happen to be the USB maintainer I in your I don't remember. Uh, I can't send. <laughs> And you, it was, it's an, uh, an error uh, to find the resources in the device tree. I don't okay. remember uh, exactly, but uh, resources is not found in the device tree. Okay. But it's strange because it should be the same as uh, other Amlogic source, <coughs> but seems not. So okay, is, is it USB 2 or USB 3 controller? Uh, it's USB 2, I think, but some part has USB 3, but uh, not. Yeah, it's, I, no, I, which one is it? The design one? Sorry? Is it the design one yeah. or is it something else? I remember that. It's some okay. Screen. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about that in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so I will send here. <laughs> it box was a little bit broken just before. <laughs> <laughs> So, thank you. So, first, big thanks, Marek, for animating the questions. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Uh, so this is the end of the first day. Uh, for people attending the dinner, it's at 7.30. You have, I think, uh, all the details in the mail. Uh, please keep your badge with you because uh, we need it uh, when entering the restaurant. <laughs>